Hi, I'm Liam from Fowles and welcome to the Home Renovators Absentee Auction for Wednesday the 8th of September 2021. Okay, well, due to the lockdown, we won't actually be able to have a live auction, uh, so you won't be able to come in and look at the goods. So we're going to do quite a long video today uh, and walk you through and really drill down on the items that are available so you can see uh, what's available. Uh, I'll give you some estimates on what I think the bidding's going to be. The way to bid will be to go onto the website uh, and you can choose the Home Renovators option and you'll see that all the items are available uh, to bid on, uh, each individual item, and you'll be able to put an absence bid. At the very end of this video we'll actually uh, pan across to a how-to video on how to do the absentee bidding. So as just to repeat you won't be able to come in and look at the goods. Uh, we'll have photos online of every, every item and also I'm going to do this video and, and walk you through. Uh, as far as collection goes obviously it's going to be a contact, contactless click and collect procedure. Um, what I suggest there are a couple of different delivery services uh, that we work with. One in particular is direct delivery and the details again are on the website. Uh, there will be no carpet or timber auctions currently uh, we might have to uh, we might have a bit of a look at that for next week but so this week just the home renovator auction and is an, and it's an online absentee auction if you can have your absentee bids in by 10 a.m on Wednesday you should be able to get on there now and start putting bids in um, but if you have uh, those bids complete and everything done by 10 a.m Wednesday we'll process those bids through the day on Wednesday and be in contact with you in the afternoon if you're successful on any of those any or all, or all of your bids um, so we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that I think that's all I need to tell you let's get along and have a bit of a look at the bits and pieces that we've got for you there's 500 lots folks so there's plenty of good stuff to have a look at uh, starting with lot number one this is a Calora uh, inbuilt wood heater uh, so it's designed to go into an existing masonry fireplace of course uh, it'll be a three-month warranty uh, on all of this stuff so beautiful looking unit there I'm guessing the bidding will be sort of around that 700 to 900 dollar mark uh, really nice unit there uh, and right next door the lot number two is the Scandia heat and cook wood fired oven so you've got the wood up the top uh, and your oven down on the bottom uh, beautiful units they're a couple of thousand dollars in the shops I'm guessing again probably around 900 to a thousand is where the bidding will be there uh, a smaller built-in uh, uh, wood-fired heater there you're probably looking around that probably $700 mark would be about a start bid and I reckon uh, potentially $850 $900 could be up to uh, with your bids just make sure you put in you put your best foot forward when you do that absentee bid uh, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll just calculate them all up to the to the highest bid a uh, nice little one there if you've got a little man cave or a little lady cave uh, you've got uh, a beautiful little 140 there uh, and I reckon that'll be probably around sort of four five hundred bucks would be about right on those uh, the nice little uh, minimalist uh, stylist sixes I'm thinking probably about that six six to seven hundred dollar mark would be about right could be a little bit more just depends on the demand on the day and spinning around these are one of my favorites I think I reckon these are fantastic so you, you, you quite a tall unit with wood storage underneath quite a modern look uh, and I reckon around that sort of mid 700s to mid 800s is what the usual bidding is on those ones so they're pretty nice as well uh, you've got a nice electric mantle, uh, Dimplex mantle heater, um, and the bidding in the past has been around that, oh, probably around that $700 mark, $800 mark or thereabouts. There is a little uh, a little crack here on the side. Uh, Jacko, I'll just zoom in on that now. Uh, that's about all I can see wrong with this one. It's a really nice looking unit. It's the 2000 watt rated heater on there. So uh, look, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute beauty. It'll have a warranty, three months factory warranty, and I'm guessing around that seven, $800 mark. Uh, but you just put in your bid of whatever you think is about right, is gonna be right for that. This is a nice one as well too. I'm not sure, we ha I don't think we've had one of these through before. It's the wood fired pizza oven on the stand. Look, I'm guessing, I could be wrong, I'm guessing probably about 750 through to 1000. Uh, might be more, might be less. Just put your bid in, and if you're the highest, again, we will get back to you and let you know. Spinning around now, a couple of nice looking uh, Matador bar fridges. These are X display. They will have a three month warranty. I think it's probably a couple of hundred bucks each on those. Uh, so have a look at them. They're pretty nice. Uh, across the way here, have a look at all this lighting stuff. Heaps and heaps of lighting gear down lights, uh, I can see ceiling fans and it's all in the catalogue and all on the website. This is all unreserved folks, uh, so again you just bid what you think it's worth and if you're the highest bidder we will get in touch with you uh, so that you can come and pick it up. Absolutely beautiful all this gear, uh, there's um, batten lights, down lights, over the back I can see a heap of bathroom 
wear as well, so shower heads, uh, towel rails, toilet roll holders, all sorts of bits and pieces there. Uh, and again, it's in the catalogue and you can bid straight away on that. So that's really nice gear. Uh, just got the one pizza oven this week in, the, in this style. Sometimes we get multiples sent in. There is only one of those. I'm guessing around two and a half thousand will be the, uh, the right money on that. Uh, as well, so it's, it's a really nice, it's got the stand as well. The stand on its own in the shops is about $1,500, so uh, really nice looking gear there. Uh, across the way here, we've got a beautiful little charbroil barbecue, uh, very nice looking unit. Uh, it's an American company that makes those, I think they're even made in America, they might be made, I can't tell where it's made, but yeah, it's an American company, that charbroil company, uh, and you're probably a couple of hundred dollars will get that for you, no problems at all. Uh, nice looking beef eater barbecue as well, uh, very uh, beautiful solid uh, top there. Uh, you've got the stainless steel plate uh, and, the, uh, and the grilling racks as well, and I'm thinking probably mid 300s to mid 400s would probably be right for those. Uh, spinning around now, I'm just going to get out of the way of the camera here. Uh, I've got, looks like I've got at least two of these. They're 1.5 metre outdoor uh, range hoods for to, to go above your barbecue or your, in your outdoor kitchen. Uh, I reckon probably about the $500 mark will be right on those. And there are a couple of those very nice units, three months warranty on them. There's another one there, it's a different brand, but probably about a similar sort of money. Uh, over the back here, we've got heaps of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these uh, beautiful uh, Solaris Gasmate Radiant he uh, outdoor heaters. Uh, I reckon probably a couple of hundred dollars each will get those away. Uh, yeah, between two and three hundred is going to be about right on those. So really good looking stuff there. We'll spin through here as well. You'll see there's the rest of those outdoor heaters. Uh, five more of them, so seven in total, plus the, uh, the cream coloured um, normal one as well. Uh, but they're, they're $900 in the shops, so if you can get one for two or three hundred bucks, you're going to have a real win there. Over on this side, you'll need to check your catalogue for this stuff. This is uh, shower screens, pretty well unreserved, so uh, just put in what you think for, the, for your bids on the shower screens. Really nice gear. Um, bid, uh, a lot numbers are sort of 491 through to 494 by the look, so there'll be a better a more clearer description on those, um, telling you what the story is there. A couple of little uh, little camping barbies here, they'll be 495 through to 497, pretty much unreserved, 10 or 20 bucks will get those away. Speaking of unreserved, have a look at this table, absolutely fantastic, it is uh, kitchen mixers and basin mixers, uh, again unreserved, so just put in your best, put your best foot forward on any of this stuff uh, and hopefully you're successful, uh, lot 155 through to about lot 170 uh, there. Speaking again of unreserved, have a look at all this stuff, with beautiful office chairs, there's a gamer's chair there as well or a racer chair, I reckon with these, uh, these office chairs you're probably going to be between 20 and 100 dollars would be about the money I would expect to see on those as well. So they're pretty nice. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, unreserved homewares under here. This is uh, X display stuff, uh, X sample stuff. It'll just be unreserved again. This is right at the start of the catalog. Um, so you can see all through there. There's some bits and pieces. Uh, that'll all just be, yeah, whatever, $1 no reserve, just put your bid in. Uh, up top there as well, we've got some sinks. We've got a heap of sinks in this week, th this week so uh, check those out. Uh, also some fridges across the way here, um, some beautiful looking fridges. You'll see fridges, all there's fridges scattered all the way through the auction, um, and we'll be able to help you if, you if you need a bit more information on, on what sort of money the, the vendor is going to be looking on those, just give us a call or send an email through, and we'll give you a bit of a tip on that. So uh, that's pretty nice as well. Uh, across the way, we've got um, some couches here. They're in pretty good nick. There's a couple of dings on them. Uh, beautiful feather-filled fill cushions. Uh, there's a couple of those, and again, they're unreserved, but I'm thinking probably fair money is going to be between one to $300 a couch. Uh, but you're in pretty good nick. I saw there's a little, there's a little bit of a tear there, but it's, it's really, there's really nothing, nothing to speak of. Uh, in, 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 as, as far as those ones go. Uh, heaps of this X sample, X display furniture, it is as is. Uh, there'll be pictures online, but it'll, it'll just be unre all unreserved. So we'll start it away at a dollar uh, and just put what you think, whatever you, whatever you think is the, uh, the money on it, and hopefully you're the highest bidder. So uh, really nice gear. Speaking of nice gear, heaps of brand new fridges through this week. They are scratch and dent. Uh, so sometimes you'll have a little bit of uh, you know, the odd cosmetic issue with them, uh, but uh, most of them are in that there is that two three five that is spotless it's absolutely beautiful uh, Westinghouse uh, Kelvinator Electrolux are the main three brands there's a couple of those KitchenAid ones left as well so they're pretty cool um, so there's a nice offering there beautiful offering on the fridges uh, you'll see some more in a minute 
Uh, down through here we've got some reverse cycle air conditioners. Uh, there's a couple of the Dimplex 3.2 kilowatt reverse cycles. They're in the high 300s mark usually for the bidding. And then uh, these Scandia ones, uh, we've got, uh, I think there's 2.5, 3.5 and a 5. Is there a 7 as well? Uh, 2.3, yeah, so, so there's the three different styles. Sort of between four and six hundred bucks on those Scandia ones, just depending on the size. So the, the more the more kilowatts, the more dollars, uh, which sort of makes sense because there's a lot more a uh, lot more gear inside them. Uh, heaps of these, still probably about twenty, Jacko, about twenty of these uh, beautiful. Uh, inbuilt gas log fires. Uh, they are set up for natural gas, but you can use them uh, with LP gas as well. You just uh, use the conversion kit inside. Uh, still around probably three or four thousand dollars in the shops. Uh, when they hit the market, they were about six thousand uh, dollars. You'll be, uh, I reckon, fourteen hundred dollars will get you one of those tomorrow. So uh, it's really nice looking stuff. Uh, this table here has come in. It's X display stock. It's really nice looking Euro branded uh, cooktops. I reckon probably a couple of hundred bucks each on these. Um, let's say between one and three hundred dollars, just depending on the bit. So see this one. This is probably the most fully featured lot two five six. I reckon the bidding will be between sort of two to three fifty somewhere around there. So again, just put your best foot forward. This sort of stuff, you could be a couple of hundred dollars. This might be a hundred and fifty. Just depends. So uh, whatever you reckon it's worth, put your bid in, and uh, we'll hopefully get it across to you. Uh, this is beautiful. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these. There's only one or two of these left. The beautiful KitchenAid double fridge, the double door fridge. It's gigantic. It's fully featured. Uh, it's uh, about 1,200 wide, I think, from memory. Um, really nice units. They were $11,000 when they came in uh, to, the, to, the, to the marketplace in Australia. Uh, we've got a couple left, and they'll be just shy of 4,000. I think the, the vendor wants about uh, 3,900 bucks for those. So that would be a successful bid on one of those, uh, provided that there's only three bidders. I think there's three left. How many left? Three, four? Yeah, so there should be enough to go around anyway. Loads of fridges, beautiful looking fridges here, uh, all pretty tidy. Uh, this is the, the odd cosmetic scratch on some of them, but most for the most part pretty tidy, and all with 12 months warranty. So check your catalogue on those, uh, they're pretty nice. Uh, this caught my eye, lot 279, it's a dish drawer, a Euro dish drawer. I'm thinking probably the bidding will be between sort of three and five hundred dollars. Again, just put your best foot forward on that. Plenty of ovens, so uh, plenty of uh, wall or underbench ovens. Uh, really nice looking gear there. Uh, and also up top, we've got loads more Frankie taps in. You'll be a half to a third of retail on the Frankie taps. Uh, so plenty of different styles there, both uh, in the chrome finish and the black finish. Uh, so you can uh, check out the, the catalogue and, uh, online and Google the, Google the model number, see what, it, see what it's worth, see what you'd be saving, make your offer. Uh, that'll be how that works. Really nice looking stuff though. Uh, heaps of bits and pieces through there. There's probably about 25 different Frankie taps uh, there, so that's pretty nice, all of that stuff there. A uh, little bit of bathroom furniture through here. You'll be able to look, uh, look, look a bit harder online. Um, when, once you click that view items button, it'll walk you through all these. Um, so you can check all of that stuff out there. Uh, what else can I show you? Across the top, I'll come back with the, uh, the bottom row. We'll do the top row. Uh, some cooktops here. Pretty nice. <coughs> Pretty nice looking cooktops here. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, some beautiful range hoods. Oh, look at these range hoods. So uh, these are X display. I'm guessing 100, 150 bucks on the range hoods. Again, three months warranty on both of those. So they're really nice looking setups. There's a built in microwave there. Around 600 in the shops, a couple of hundred bucks will probably get that away, maybe even less. Uh, another, uh, another X display range with that's a Technica Professional, that one. We'll spin that up and we'll have a look at that. It's a nice looking unit. Let's see. Yeah, so there's a little bit of uh, cosmetic stuff up the top here. Um, I'd say that's going to be, I'd guess, between sort of 50 and 100 bucks. So, and if it's, if it's mounted up high enough, you'll, you won't even see the top anyway. Uh, what have we got here? Nice looking barbecue. That's a, a and it looks like an X, an X demo uh, barbecue out of gas, mate. Uh, I'm probably guessing that's the two burner. Nice looking, it all folds up pretty, pretty compact. I'd guess probably hundred, uh, $100 to $150 would be my guess there. Uh, a couple of sinks down the bottom here, nice thick, thick walled sinks. Not a lot of money on them, probably 100 bucks would be the go. Maybe even less again, you'll be able to uh, work that out. Uh, looking down at the bottom row now, uh, we've got a heap of different wall ovens. Uh, that one there, what's that? A um, 
uh, compact series com combination microwave, probably I'd say 250 to through to 350. Uh, these ovens, uh, they'll all sort of vary. Uh, you just have a look on, I mean, perhaps Google the model number and you'll see what it's out in the marketplace and you can put your offer in. Uh, there's multiples on a couple of these, on these two I think there's multiples. You're about mid 200s on those, is that right? Yeah, about around the mid 200s mark, uh, which is really nice buying, especially with the, uh, the two year warranty on them. Uh, they are super buying, so check those out, 336 and 337. Uh, they'll be a really good buyers, and we do have multiples, so you'll get one in a box uh, with the, the two-year warranty. Uh, some more sinks through here, the Frankie sinks. Again, you're probably half to a third of their usual retail money, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go and have a bit of a look now. Uh, across the back row here, some beautiful built-in barbecues. Uh, look, these are a couple of hundred thousand dollars, a couple hundred thousand, a couple of thousand dollars in the shops. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking probably under a thousand. Uh, I reckon, let's say between 800 and 900 will be about the right sort of bids on those. And there's two of those available, uh, three months warranty on those. I love these down the bottom. Have a look at these. These are the, uh, the white roller storage cabinets. We haven't had these in for ages. Uh, they are unreserved. There's 15 available, I think. Uh, so uh, you'll, if, again, unreserved. So bid what you think. Um, sometimes, some weeks they've sold when we've had them in the past for sort of $40. Some weeks they've sold for $80. Whatever you reckon they're worth, put your best foot forward, and we'll try and get you one or whatever, whatever quantity you're after. Uh, but there are. It looks like it's telling me there's 15 of them there. So uh, I think that'll be about right. Lots of these beautiful camper heaters as well. I think they're made in France from memory. Haven't had them through for a while. Uh, they're worth a fortune in the shop, so I know that much. Uh, again, a couple of hundred bucks on those. They are 1,200 watt uh, by the looks, and they look about 1,200 wide as well. Uh, but really nice units. Again, Google the model number on lot number 379, but I reckon a couple of hundred bucks, probably 250, 300 bucks will be uh, about the right money. Uh, some nice wall-mounted vanities are coming. This is a double uh, in a 1,200, so it's pretty unusual to have 1200 double vanity it's um it's great it's uh, if you're doing a house up to sell it particularly it's nice to have that that double vanity in such a small size it'll give your bathroom uh, a nice uh, a sort of a, a, a feeling of size where if you've got a smaller bathroom that you're trying to sort of make a bit look a bit bigger uh, down through here plenty more of these beautiful wall mounted single vanities uh, look all these wall mounted ones i reckon probably two to three hundred bucks will be about the right money on those i uh, got some Westinghouse dishwash, uh, dishwashers and Dishlex dishwashers. Uh, again, they have 12 months warranty, pretty nice uh, quality units. A uh, little bit of cosmetic damage, but not a great deal. Not a, no, no deal breakers there, really nice looking units. Uh, you're about that sort of high 200s to high 300s, just depending on who's bidding. Uh, um, there's a nice looking uh, 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 Square outdoor barbecue range hood there. Uh, from memory, they usually bid around that three thirteen hundred dollar mark. So that'll be where that's that's standing. Uh, down the bottom here, we've got a few uh, top load washing machines out of Simpson. Uh, again, probably about that two and high two hundred dollar mark to low three hundred would be about my guess on those. They've got pretty big capacities these days. Those top loaders. Uh, so the, the technology's moved moved along. Uh, some nice looking built in combination microwaves there. Uh, sort of, t I'm guessing two to four hundred dollars. Uh, they're pretty well perfect. I can't see any marks on those. Uh, a nice looking electric oven there. Uh, I'm guessing, oh, let's say, high, probably low 300, low to high 300s, I reckon, would be about right on that. Uh, another one of those microwaves. Oh, that's, sorry, that's a steam oven. Uh, so you could have a steam oven and a microwave oven. Yeah, and there's, there's, there's multiples of both. Thanks, Jacko. Uh, and you, yeah, again, probably, probably, I'm guessing, but it's between three and five hundred dollars. Uh, down through the bottom, some beautiful dishwashers. This one catches my eye. Um, I have this dishwasher. It's an absolute ripper. Uh, so a very nice unit. Um, it's, uh, it's nice and solid. Uh, it does a really, really good job. Uh, lot 450 there, 12 months factory warranty, and I'm guessing you'll be about that high, probably the high 300 mark on that, but that is a, a really nice buy. That's probably uh, my pick of the day on the dishwashers um, of, of, what, of what we've seen so far. Really good looking unit there. Uh, there's a little bar freezer there, probably around that $300 mark, I'm thinking, maybe a bit shy of that. Maybe you could probably bid somewhere between 250 and 300 and you should 
uh, you get a look in on that. Uh, let's see, what have we got? Some more beautiful wall ovens here. Euro, Euro, Euro Belling. So top top brands, and again, I'm just going to guess, but uh, sort of around that three and two, 250 to 350 mark through here. The Belling one, you might get a little bit less. Depends who's bidding on the day. Uh, if you really want to get that Belling oven, I'd bid about 350, and you should be right on that. Um, moving through now, we've got uh, some range hoods there. We've got... Uh, more uh, beautiful wall ovens through here, Euro again. Uh, then there's some Electrolux gear. Uh, it's a nice Electrolux microwave, I think, from memory. Uh, compact combination steam oven. There you go, steam oven out of Electrolux. Guessing about a thousand bucks on the steam oven. Uh, some beautiful big uh, 900 Electrolux uh, ovens with the dual fans inside. Get a load of this. Absolutely sensational. They're about sort of four thousand dollars in the shops. I reckon you'll be. Uh, around half that, probably between two and two and a half, I'd sort of try and put a bit in on, on those. Um, the ARC or the ARC, uh, that's, no, that's not in, that's sold, it went, that, that's um, out. Uh, this one here, um, this is a 900 electric oven, Euro branded, I'm going to guess $600, so nice buying on a 900. Uh, this is uh, another of my picks of the day for the dishwasher, so uh, that, that Electrolux, that the, the, um, the Westinghouse one before, but also this one, 481, this is the KitchenAid. Uh, of course, no no front. It is an integrated front, so you'll uh, you'll need to manufacture something to to match up with your cabinet work. Uh, that's quite easy to do, though. It's, uh, it's a very straightforward process these days. Uh, inside, uh, really nice looking unit. Uh, they're about twelve hundred bucks in the shop. You've got your cutlery rack at the top. Uh, you've got the two really nice solid gear, uh, four, a, a quadruple propeller at the bottom and uh, 18 wine, wine um, glass holders as well that you can put in or take out. Uh, they'll, they'll be around that mid $300 mark uh, and there's plenty of those to go around. They do have a 12 month factory warranty as well. So KitchenAid branded, absolute rippers those ones. Uh, don't miss out on those ones, they are really, really nice. Uh, moving through, what else can I show you? Uh, there's some wine fridges here, they'll be sort of somewhere shy of $1,000. Uh, there's still one boxed up over the back there I can see. Couple of years warranty from memory. Uh, nice Westinghouse oven here, really, really nice this one. Uh, it's the, it goes in the standard 600 cavity by the looks, but look how big it is inside. Really heaps of space, it is a big oven indoors. It might tell me the litres on the outside, but I'm thinking 80 litres. It's a beautiful big oven there, really nice looking unit. Um, and at a guess, I think it's Australian made too, believe it or not. Uh, steam assist, air fry function, 12 months factory warranty. Uh, let me take a guess on it. I'm going to say $1,300, $1,400 I reckon will be about the right money uh, on that. Um, another Euromade 900 uh, cook, uh, oven up the top here. Six or seven hundred bucks will get that away. That's lot 472. Uh, we've got quite a few of these. Uh, we've, I reckon we've sold about 300 of these now. Uh, the Euro uh, dishwasher, two years warranty, uh, adjustable top basket so you can get the big plates in underneath. Uh, you will get one in a box uh, around that mid $300 mark. These are always popular, lot 475. I've got a two, at least two of these, I think two of these, 475 and I think 479 as well. Uh, these are X Display uh, Gasmate Premium Two Door Bar Fridges. Uh, still, every day of the week in the shops, around the $2,000 mark. Uh, bidding on this uh, at this auction, I reckon, will be uh, like previous auctions between six and seven hundred dollars. That is the usual sort of money that they get. Three months factory warranty. Very nice units there. Really, really nice. Uh, a couple of Westinghouse range hoods up the top here. Um, I'm guessing mid one hundred dollar mark on those. Nice, good workhorse range hoods. Nine hundred wide chimney range hood. Uh, you'll be four fifty in the shops. You'll be one fifty at Fowles tomorrow. I reckon I'll get the money. Uh, nice looking. Uh, gas, uh, gas cooktop and also electric oven in the 900 freestander. Um, again, we've sold mountains of these. They've got the rotisserie in the oven. Uh, really good looking unit. A uh, couple of years warranty and you'll be around that thousand dollar mark on those. So uh, really good fun there. There's that other fridge there. Uh, so that's the other of the um, of the, the gas mate two door bar fridge. Again, six to seven hundred dollars will be about the right money on that. I've uh, got some KitchenAid range hoods there, around that sort of mid, one, mid to late $100 mark. I think about $180 was where they were bidding, but they are about $650 in the shops. Uh, this is one of my favourites. I've got one of these myself. Uh, this is the KitchenAid coffee machine. It goes in the standard 45 by 600 cavity. Really nice units. Uh, you're around that $3,000 mark, three to 
probably three and a half thousand dollar mark. Um, you'll be bidding about sixteen hundred dollars on those. There are ones in boxes out the back, ready to go for you. Uh, really good units there. Lot four eighty. Uh, this is the salt uh, freestanding gas with electric inside, uh, nine hundred wide. Uh, I think one or two years warranty. Two years warranty from memory. Uh, around that mid eight hundred mark. So about eight eight sort of eight hundred and fifty dollars on those. So um, all pretty cool there. Uh, nearly done folks, but um, I've got a little bit more to show you. Um, there's some stuff that's come in. We've got these desks here. There's a few different desks. Uh, um, all the desks will be unreserved tomorrow, so uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty nice. They're pretty compact ones. In through here, uh, we've got a heap more dishwashers. Uh, Euro is one of the brands. Euromade is one of the brands. Uh, again, just put your best foot forward on those. Uh, I'm guessing probably a bit of two 200 to 300 um, dollar bid, just depending on what you think, uh, will be will, should be enough to get you over the line tomorrow. Uh, there's an integrated one there. What's that? A Bomatic integrated one. Uh, we've got some uh, nice looking um, freestanders. So they are, that's a looks 540 to me. Yeah, 540 wide freestander. Euromade. I'm guessing 250 would be about the money uh, across the way here as well. A Euromade 900 dual fuel. I'm going to guess again about the thousand mark. Maybe 1200 could do the money. Uh, there's a, is that a twin tub? There you go, there's a blast from the past, the twin tub washer. Last time I had a twin tub washer, I think there were, would, you would actually not believe how many bids I had, and it went to about that mid $200 mark. So twin tub available tomorrow. Uh, don't get too many electric freestanders. Uh, this is a Euromade electric freestander. I'm going to guess, just, just due to a bit of demand, because uh, they're, they're quite unusual to have in, I'm going to guess between 1000 and about $1,300 there will be the money. Uh, Electrolux, beautiful double wall oven. Uh, you're going to be probably about 1700 1800 somewhere like that. Still around that $4,000 mark in the shops from memory. What do we got here? We've got a table full of... Uh, and, uh, chimney range hoods here, uh, all different sizes. I think there's a 900 glass front there, there's a 600 chimney, there's another 600, uh, there's a 900 undermount or 850 mil, 8, 850 mil undermount. Again, all of those, you'd probably be a couple of hundred dollars maximum. Uh, just put your, put your best put forward. Uh, this one is an Italian made uh, Euro uh, freestander, I reckon about that thousand dollar mark. This is nice, have a look at this folks. Lot number 396, I'm just going to say I think it's going to be dual fuel. Let me lean over, yep, dual fuel. So gas on top, electric inside, and it's the beautiful, uh, very current black colour. Um, you'll have three months warranty on that. Uh, again, being the different colour, being a little bit different, you're probably bidding around that 12, probably 12 to 1400 will be my guess there on that. Uh, through here, more dishwashers, more freestanders. There's a little Euromade front clothes washing machine there, probably it's five kilos, three months warranty, I'm going to guess between sort of 200, 250. Uh, more freestanding here. Uh, for those freestanders, yeah, bid that, that, that thousand through to probably 1400, uh, depending how bad you want it. Uh, through here, uh, Belling Black 540 freestander, nice looking unit that one. I'm going to guess about mid 300s to mid 400s, it's very nice. So it's a really, really smart looking unit and it's very tidy. Uh, Technica dishwashers here, there's a silver and a black. Uh, the black uh, has got a few dings in there. Uh, so we'll just make sure you're aware of those. That's uh, it's pretty, um, it's, it's, there's, a fair bit, there's a fair bit going on there. I, I'm going to say uh, probably 200 bucks there. Someone will still want it. Someone will not care about that ding and want the black look. Uh, the cutlery tray at the top, uh, all, the, all the features. It's a fully featured machine, uh, so yeah, at least a couple of hundred bucks there. And the silver one, probably around the same couple of hundred dollars. Uh, the beautiful Belling gas cooktop. Let me just check, I think it's going to be natural gas. Uh, I'm going to say natural gas. It uh, doesn't have anything to the contrary on there. So natural gas, beautiful looking unit. Again, 540 mils, so the landlords will love that if they've only got a 540 space. Uh, through here, beautiful double dish drawer. Look at this. Uh, lot 418, the double dish drawer, so uh, very nice looking unit there. I'm going to guess that the bidding's about a thousand bucks on that. Um, we'll see, you know, you can put whatever you like in, but uh, realistically, something uh, around that thousand dollar mark will be the pick there. Nice looking black dishwasher out of Euro again. Uh, it's pretty nice, uh, and I reckon um, 14 place settings, uh, extra dry function. I'm going to say probably about that, the bidding will be about that four hundred dollar mark there. It's very snappy, it's very shiny. Uh, what else can we show them, Jacko? Uh, we've had a look at this uh, this stuff here. I reckon we're pretty right. Um, so I hope that's been of help. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, tack on the video on how to 
uh, do an absentee bid through the website. So I'll add that into this video. So if you want, you can finish up now. But if you want to keep watching, uh, we'll just give you a refresh on how to do that absentee bidding process through the website. Make sure your bids are in by 10 a.m. on the Wednesday uh, and we'll process them. That's going to take about probably a day to process all of that. So we'll be in touch sort of Wednesday afternoon, Thursday morning. Uh, make sure you've picked up all your gear uh, by about, we're hoping to have everything picked up by Saturday afternoon so that we can start again.